Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. As the family quarrels over a $4 million farm property, Little People Patriarch Matt Roloff's new house construction plans are made public. Matt, 61, announced that he and his son Jacob are constructing a home on Roloff Farms after planning it for five years. The U.S. son has unique information on the new house that he'll probably move into with his partner Karen. The residential dwelling was given a building permission by the Washington County Court in Oregon on February 15, 2023. Three bedrooms and three bathrooms will be present in the house. The house will also have a deck, covered porch, and attached garage. Last week, Matt captioned a photo of a pile of wood with the following information. It's quite wonderful to finally be here after five years of planning. To be beginning work on our new home. The logs we have been saving are being chopped up by Jacobra Law 45. It's going to be a busy, busy spring slash summer as we combine wood we buy with some we cut on our LT40 mill at the farm to build the house. After five years of preparation, the first piece of rebar is laid, he said in the caption of a photo of the property. From here, ideally, it will rise rapidly. Moreover, Matt shared a photo of the home's first floor along with the remark. Construction is a process. There's a solid reason why the foundation is called foundation. Although Matt shared the main house with his ex-wife Amy, to whom he had been married for 27 years, his girlfriend refused to move in. They also brought up their four kids there. When Matt published The House Blueprints, he faced criticism from followers who thought the house was too large. What are you building a football stadium for? Someone inquired on Instagram. Another remarked, this looks enormous. For two people, it is far too large. Another remarked, looks huge. Knowing Matt, I wonder whether it's the On May 12, Matt listed the main house and 16 acres of the farm for a staggering $4 million. In October 2022, he removed it off the market and listed the primary residence for rent. The Little People, Big World Star, and his 32-year-old twin sons, Zach and Jeremy, have been embroiled in a bitter argument since they were unable to reach a financial settlement regarding the farm being sold. Matt turned down his son's bids for the land and small people, they world. Zach has discussed the split between the two on the show that was caused by the rejection. He said, the whole thing was bizarre. He starts making excuses. Suddenly me and my wife are not good enough to handle the farm. The north side is the 30 acres my parents and dad shared. When we lack the necessary resources or skill set. As a result of the fight, Zach decided to step back from his responsibilities at the farm, severely dividing the family. Tori and Zach decided to leave their house in Oregon and move to their new $1 million home in Battleground, Washington. The TLC celebrity similar steps were taken by Jeremy, the twin brother, and his wife Audrey when they bought their own farm. A previous offer on the property was made by Jeremy, which Matt also rejected. About that time, Audrey remarked on Instagram that passing on the property meant the death of a dream. Jacob, the youngest son of Matt, and his ex-wife Amy, is frequently pictured working on the farm alongside his father which led some fans to believe that he might eventually take over the business. According to the U.S. Sun, the patriarch has taken steps to maintain ownership of the land even after his passing. In a bargain and sale deed, Matt transferred various pieces of land from Matthew J. Roloff to Matt Roloff Living Trust for a sum of money. Sale price of $0 on June 24, 2022. The parcels of land include 15.68 acres, 16.60 acres, 91.56 acres, and 19.97 acres, making the total 143.81 acres. Beverly Hills attorney Adam Michael Sachs exclusively explained to the U.S. Sun why the reality star would transfer the farm to a trust. The attorney explained how the trust could come in handy amid Matt's feud with his twin sons. He said, 
The trust can make a plan to maintain the property until he dies, or give it to the kids, or give it to whoever. They have to do what the trust says. If your father is not married and passes away, his kids can just split the property. But if he makes a will, he can say, I don't leave anything to my kids. If he doesn't want his kids to get it and puts it in a trust, the kids can't fight over it. It's whatever the trust says. If he didn't have a will or trust, it would go to the next relatives. If he has a will, he does what the will says. When you set up a trust, you do need to spell it out. A trust could also protect Matt legally, as Michael explained. This can be for legal lawsuit liability reasons. If you're a doctor and your patient sues for malpractice, if you have a multi-million house in your name, they can take it from you. So you put the house in a trust. The trust is a separate entity, it's holding it for you. If you lose a lawsuit, they can't go after the trust. It protects you from liability. The trust becomes the owner of the property.